if there's a hell, I can't, I can't leave you today without anything other than this simple request. In case there's a hell, please don't go there. Please don't. Please put your heart and your head in the Bible and, and, and if you don't know anything else to read, just read the red letters in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those are the things that they quoted Christ as saying, at least start there, just read what Jesus said. And you will discover that, that Jesus really believed there was right and wrong, there was heaven, there was hell. That Jesus himself said, I'm gonna go away and prepare a place for you. And then Jesus himself said, there's no way to get to God unless you come through Christ. I'm the door. The only way you'll ever know him is know him as me. And when you call my name, I'm right there and I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you. And outside are sorcerers and dogs and God, our hearts ought to break sometimes with the idea that anyone we love would ever be lost. That anyone we bury, that anyone not serving you, if at some point in the future there is a rapture and a redemption of the church, whatever happens first, our death, or redemption, or resurrection, There ought to be something in all of us that want to make sure we're on the right side of truth and not living over in fantasy somewhere. I cannot imagine today that there's no heaven and there's no hell because there's absolutely no substance from which I can imagine that. I have to take the promises of 3,500 years ago when Moses and the scribes wrote the first five books, the Torah, and the promises of a Messiah that were coming in those early days. I have to take those for my foundation today and live in reality, not in a make-believe fantasy dream that everybody's okay and there's nothing we can do that's wrong. When you have so clearly said that there's a place we don't want to go, and there are people who are going there. I ask you today, as, just as pastor and friend, shepherd, if you please, please don't let anyone in this church be lost. Don't let anyone follow fantasy instead of truth. And especially don't let anyone that we love and know right here ever be lost and us not having made an effort to make sure they do not be lost. We'd do anything we could do. We'll listen to problems. We'll solve them when we can. We'll pay for things out of our pocket if that matters to keep somebody on the right and straight and narrow path. Our hope is that there's also a heaven and that we're the ones who pull our legs up under the table because we have washed our robes in righteousness. Somebody say, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Give the Lord a hand of praise today. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. You must believe in Jesus Christ. Every starting point for every believer is just that, belief. You must believe that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. That he is your link to the invisible, unknowable God. The only link between you and the unknowable, invisible God is Jesus Christ. You must accept him as your savior. You must embrace his word as your lifestyle. You must live a separated life. Jesus himself said, if you want to follow me, deny yourself and take up your cross and follow me. Self-denial is implicit in the gospel of Christ. Say no to the flesh, no to the tempter. Say no to the fantasy that will convince you it doesn't matter what you do, it'll all be okay. It's not okay. And if there's a hell, 
you will not go there without climbing over those of us who love you. So make sure you believe in Jesus and make sure you adhere to his word and follow him. Deny yourself and follow Christ is my prayer for you. God bless you. Shake hands, hug somebody, love somebody. See you next Sunday morning too.